repaired radios. Worked at it for 30 years. Started back in the days of the old Crosleys, Atwater, Kent's, Farnsworth's. Here's a look at my as-built design. You can see my audio input source coming from my uh, Bluetooth. Comes into the wiper of the 100K potentiometer. And of course you have the negative rail itself. And then the uh, other side goes back to the uh, 1N34A diode here. And again, that acts as the modulator itself for the signal. And I've placed a white LED here. There's enough current flowing when the oscillator on the receiver itself is uh, operating. The LED illuminates, so that's pretty cool. And that's our return path as well. Without the LED there and or a resistor, the circuit will not function. And then you can see the uh, 220 picofarad uh, capacitors. Those values can be anywhere from 10 to 20. And you can see one section drives the uh, antenna side of the tuning condenser. The other side attaches to the oscillator and the other side goes to the tuning condenser frame. And the reason I'm saying that, just in case you're working with a isolated uh, tuning condenser that, and that provides the uh, return path itself again for the modulation to take place. A couple notes um, you'll see in my as-built which covers a higher frequency range there's less capacitance here, stray capacitance from the leads the way I have them. So if you want to cover you know let's say a thousand kilohertz up to uh, 1600 kilohertz use a design similar to this using the audio cable in my case just a two foot section 28 AWG introduces about 90 to 100 picofarad of capacitance and we know uh, less capacitance will drive a higher frequency so with increasing the capacitance here I'm resonating lower, so in my case, I can cover about 730 to uh, 1050 with the uh, design on the breadboard using the audio cable. Again, we adjust the 100K pot for the best audio. It also varies the uh, frequency a few kilohertz either direction. My input source itself is uh, about 80% of full volume driving that from an iPad itself. Seems to give the best uh, audio quality. To uh, tune the uh, unit itself, you just adjust the uh, tuning condenser or capacitor on the uh, All-American 5 in this case. Again, I tried this on a, a transformer set and it worked just as well hooking the antenna section up to the antenna coil lead. You can see if I adjust the uh, tuning it changes the uh, frequency. Have fun building the circuit guys. Those were real radios. Well built, well designed. Nothing cheap about any of them. They didn't have transistors in those days. Just tubes as big as light bulbs. That meant heavy chassis, heavy transformers. And we didn't fix them by simply slapping in a new part either. We fixed the old parts. I wish I had a dime for every RF coil I rewound by hand. Every IF I rebuilt. Yeah, those were great radios in those days.